Today is November 17, 2023, Friday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. Let me read to you the Gospel of the Day from the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 26 to 27. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we enter into the final weeks of the liturgical year, we begin to turn our attention to the final coming of Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus gives us the example of Noah and Lot. In both of their stories, people were eating, drinking, marrying, buying, selling, planning, and building up until the very day that the floods came to destroy the earth at the time of Noah and fire rained down from the sky at the time of Lot. Both Noah and Lot were saved, but many others alive at that time met with sudden and unexpected destruction. Jesus says that the days of the Son of Man will be similar to those previous two events. At an expected time, Jesus will return to earth and the final judgment will ensue. So his message is clear, be ready at all times. Though we are familiar with this teaching of our Lord, spoken many times and in various ways in the Gospels, many people do not heed the message. It is easy to believe that you always have tomorrow to change, and so you give into temptation today. And then tomorrow comes, and the temptation is once again embraced with the thought, that you will work on it tomorrow and henceforth. We can easily go about perpetuating our sins and embracing our temptations while we have the ongoing good intention of changing tomorrow. This is a mistake for two reasons. First of all, it always remains a possibility that our Lord will indeed come today and that today truly will be the end of the world. Or it all this remains a distinct possibility that your life will come to an end today, suddenly and unexpectedly. If that were to happen, would you be fully ready to stand before the judgment seat of Christ? Most people would not, at least, not fully ready. Thus, there should be motivation enough to work tirelessly today to be ready now and every moment hereafter. But we should also see this prophecy of our Lord as applying to every present moment of every day. Jesus is always coming to us, suddenly and without warning, inviting us to serve Him by grace. This gospel passage states that whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it, will save it. This applies to the end of our lives and to the end of the world, but it also applies to every present moment of every day. If we continually seek to our lives, meaning to choose the heavenly realities over the temporal, earthly indulgences we are daily tempted with, then we will also daily experience the grace of salvation here and now in every present moment of our lives. Reflect today upon whether or not you regularly seek to lose your life for the sake of the kingdom of God. Do you continually choose grace, mercy, heaven, obedience, love, self-sacrifice, compassion, forgiveness, and the like? every moment of every day of your life? If so, then our Lord will continually bestow the gift of His 
saving grace upon you here and now, preparing you for the ultimate moment of judgment. If not, then you will be more like the people of Noah's and Lot's time who met with sudden destruction when they least expected it. Live for God now, today, in this moment, and you will be eternally grateful you did. My ever-present Lord, you come to me all this suddenly and unexpectedly, and so often I do not hear you or perceive your presence. Please help me to live continually for you and by your grace, choosing heavenly realities over temporary indulgences. May I live this way all this, meeting you every moment of my life and anticipating that glorious final meeting with you at a time of judgment. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, today is my birthday, and I am a year older on this beautiful day. And it is all possible because of your incredible love and mercies. Today, I go down on my knees to thank you from the depths of my soul for blessing me so lavishly with your choicest blessings. God, I can't thank you enough for bringing me this far in life. Thank you for blessing me with life, good health, happiness, and peace of mind. I'll be forever grateful. Happy birthday to me. And on this day of my natal day, I pray for good health, good wealth, joy, happiness, love, prosperity, and financial freedom, not only for myself, but to my entire family and to those who are sick. Please heal them, Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord. Grant us your grace. In Jesus' name, and through the intercession of Mama Mary, please pray for us. Please pray for me, Mama Mary. God bless us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.